Good morning, students. In the previous lecture, we have studied the design of shaft subjected for pure bending movement. Means generally, the axles are subjected for pure bending movement. Now we will have the problem of axles. Let us take this problem. A pair of wheels of railway wagon carries a load of 50 kN on each axle box acting at a distance of 100 mm outside the wheel base. The gauge of the rail is 1.4 m. Find the diameter of axle between the wheels if the stress is not to exceed 100 mega pascal. Now, before solving the problem, we will write down the data now. Given. Data given is load W is equal to 50 kilo newton. That is 50 into 10 raised to 3 newton. L that is this distance 100 millimeter. L1 means distance between the wheels that is equal to 1.4 meter and maximum stresses that is sigma b is equal to 100 mega pascal so that is equal to 100 newton per mm square so this is the figure these are the wheels railway wheels this is the axles and these are the axle boxes load is acting at this point 100 millimeter away from the center of the wheels and this distance is 1.4 we have the bending moment at a ma is equal to 0 at this point the bending moment the value of bending moment is 0 at point b mb at this point at this point load this is the load value of load P is equal to 50 kN multiplied by distance L that is 100 that comes out to be 50 into 10 raised to 5 Newton millimeter. Now the bending moment at point C at this point at this point the load into distance that load into distance that is equal to 50 into 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 100. Uh, equal to that comes out to be 50 into 10 raised to 5 Newton millimeter. Bending moment at D, bending moment at D, that comes out to be 0. So the maximum value of bending moment that is at B and C, MB equal to MC, that is equal to 50 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per millimeter uh, or Newton millimeter Sita. formula for design of shaft or design of shaft subjected for pure bending moment m is equal to pi by 32 into sigma b into d cube from this formula we will reduce this formula formula by transferring the values d is equal to cube root of 32 into m divided by pi into sigma b now putting the values of m and sigma b by calculator we will calculate the value of diameter that comes out to be 79.85 millimeter so we will take say the value 80 millimeter so this is the problem based on the shaft subjected for pure bending thank you very much we will meet in next session